hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna talk to you guys about how i got published while i'm still halfway through med school as one of you guys requested i'm gonna give you so many tips and tricks of how to get involved in med in uh, research during medical school so that you can have a good application for the match and how to find research positions as well so let's get to it all right guys so the first thing i did was find a good professor who had a um a student research group so she actually offered uh, like online that she would be doing a student research group for biochemistry she was my biochemistry professor in uh, year one of medical school and um, yeah I signed up and she she chooses or selects the students who uh, pass a certain filter uh, so there was so many filters actually and yeah she chose me as a uh, leader for the student research uh, so that's your first step is to find a good professor but how do you actually know if um, this professor uh, is like publishes valuable papers uh, that's through their citation index that you can find through Google Scholar um, Google Scholar profiles make sure you're in the profile section and you're gonna look up um, your professor so for example this is by the way the name of my professor and I'm gonna look up uh, right there on the right you can see the number of citations my professor has such a big number of citations actually 9804 uh, that's considered a high index and that indicates that when you actually get involved with her on research um, that her the, the paper will be of value and at the same time you can guarantee that she's getting a lot of opportunities um, like from uh, other researchers asking her to write review articles and stuff uh, so yeah it's a good idea to check the citation index which indicates um, like how many times her paper was cited as reference in other papers which indicates its value another way you guys can find the research opportunities is on linkedin go here to linkedin um, in the jobs tab you can find so many research opportunities recommended for you based on your profile and based on your search history. A lot of them, actually most of them are related to research positions. Um, and wherever you are, depends on your location. Uh, so right there, um, you're gonna type in where you want it to be, like the city and um, search by title skill like the position you want and where you can find it um, for example i put in research assistant and medical lab assistant in new york city area and i got so many opportunities right there so that's if you um yeah that's great Next up, I'm going to advise any of you guys to create a ResearchGate account. Uh, there you can also find uh, so many jobs similar to LinkedIn, um, research positions that is. And you can follow the authors of the uh, articles you were referencing. And I'm going to show you right now. ResearchGate and it's just so very similar to LinkedIn. Uh, also based on my profile, I could find jobs right there um, like postdoctoral fellow clinical professor but these are big stuff like uh, you can always search the job you want so if, for instance I'm gonna type in research assistant right and you select the region um, United States New Jersey for example uh, so uh, all these are also opportunities you have Another good thing with the research gate is that you can always look up uh, similar papers to the ones you have on your account 
and you can follow uh, researchers who are like related to your field and who have, uh, for example, uh, some of these researchers, by the way, are authors of articles that you um, that you cited in your paper, imagine. And you can connect with these people and follow their, for example, I'm going to follow this guy and um, follow their papers. And yeah, that gives you a lot of insight while you're doing the paper and also um, later on if you're thinking about new research and stuff. Uh, so yeah now a very important tool that you just can't do your research without and I'm sure a lot of people involved in research know about that is uh, Mendeley uh, this you use it as a library for your um, like to suggest related articles so that you can use them as reference and you can also use it to, for citations like so many stuff I'm gonna show you now on the website on Mendeley here obviously you should download the desktop version it's gonna make things so much easier but just to highlight the features here you got site as you write um, so that uh, you have to, you will insert the papers that you are referencing in a Mendeley library and then you can very easily extract from the library just as you write um, the last sentence for example of the reference you're taking and just click insert and then click on the article you extracted this from it's so much easier to track it and to order the references as well um, import references easily as well and there's something called citation plugin uh, where you add this it's kind of an add-on to Word, Microsoft Word. Uh, so it's called Mendeley Cite. And that also makes it so much easier to cite in uh, references without having to manually put it in. I think most people involved in research know about that. Finally, guys, I want to tell you something that it's not easy to get involved in research, especially if it's more than one during med school when you're still getting used to studying the med school way uh, as in year one, for example. And so that is why I suggest you don't go hard on it, you know, uh, don't try to assume the bigger role because that means you're going to have more responsibilities, right? So if you're accounted um, group leader for the uh, student research group, uh, that means that you would obviously have so much load on you and that you will have to be uh, accountable for and responsible for uh, because essentially the one who does the most work is the one who gets um, published, whose name gets published um first uh so yeah this has its own cost uh your time and you have to compromise studies and stuff so if you think that you will not be able to do that uh, then it's okay to assume the smaller role as long as you're involved no problem right so that's something uh, i just wanted to say uh, good luck guys i really hope that this video helped